Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for cool video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is isolated blurring to grab attention. All right, this can be used uh, anytime you want to take a video frame and focus attention on one specific area. This could be action based or uh, uh, even works great for weddings. I want to show you how we can do it with one layer with a mask. Now you do have to draw a little bit of a mask. So the th the, because this is an effect and it's an obvious effect and, and the audience is buying into this as an effect, not a visual effect that's supposed to be um, uh, a special effect for a, for a, a movie, you're, you're creating a treatment. I think you basically have two options. Draw a really tight mask or draw a very loose mask. Don't be semi sloppy because then it just looks crappy. I either get really stylized or get tight. So let's have a look. So let's move ahead in this frame and you'll see, boom, right there. Right at that point, we get a blurry background and we got our guy still in focus, although his edges are blurred. So how do we do that? In the effects controls, I just added a fast blur and you can go to your effects and type in fast blur. And you'll see not the presets, but you'll see down here, blur and sharpen fast blur. And every single effect, when you twirl them down, you have a mask. And I've got a, a separate tutorial on how to, um, on on power user tips for masking. But let's go and zoom in on this guy and see what's going on. So I'm just going to fit this in. And you'll see how tight I am. Let me just zoom out a little bit more. Oh, there he is up there. There he is. OK. So I'm selecting this particular tool, the free draw Bezier mask, and we draw our first mask. And I don't want to take the time to, to draw the whole thing again in there, uh, because you can see how many um, different keyframes I've added. And below that is the actual mask opacity. So I'm changing the mask opacity um, right here. It's zero and it goes to 100% and that engages the effect and then the effect goes away. So what you have to do to draw the mask, I'll just move this down, let's move this to here. And you're basically, um, you can use the scroll wheel over in here, or you can use the right and left arrows and see how far you can go before you have to draw another frame. And he's moving quite fast, so I, as you can see, I was putting in, a, a keyframe in every single frame. And with that same mask selected, when you move your mouse over to this area, you'll see it turns into um, an arrow. So you'll see this part is moving a little bit further than this part. So I'm going to drag around this, air, this area and I've selected those points. I could use the arrow keys now to bump that around. It's moving around in this area here. I'm using the arrow keys. And depending on how he's moving, if he's rotating while he's moving, what you can do is select all of these and if you mouse around the outside edge, you'll see this little typical Photoshop has this, this little adjustment rotate, and you can rotate that too. It's a little bit tricky, but if you find times the object that you're, you're, you're actually trying to track manually with a mask is it's keeping its shape, but it's rotating, this is a great way so you don't have to go to every single point and move it a little bit. Sometimes an arm is moving and you can select that arm and, and move that around. Now, real rotoscoping would actually have um, each one of the individual limbs and sometimes fingers and joints, head, body, board, all of these things separate. 
I'm trying to stay away from there. I'm try trying to not make this an After Effects nightmare uh, of a job for an editor. Just a really quick, cool effect of this blurring, boom, popping on, boom, popping off. You could also do this to a still if, if, if instead of uh, him continuing, it's just one frame that's a still, and it's a little bit easier. You just draw one mask, so he jumps up, stops, blurs, and then keeps going. But we're actually drawing a bunch of frames on here. Okay. So now if we go to the next frame, you can see it's eating into his face there a little bit. But I think you get the idea. That blur is happening on the outside. And we've got uh, the mask feather is at 10. So if I turn that mask feather down, you'll see hard edges around here. And that is not going to help this effect at all. We get away with uh, the mask not being the same. You can even see here, right around there. This, is, this wouldn't hold up in a real rotoscoping visual effect. I'd get fired <laughs> if this was uh, me trying to rotoscope for a visual effects job. I'm, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to do a stylistic effect you know, quick for an editor. So let's turn that back up. And you could crank that up past 10 if you want. Uh, this again is, is part of that stylized look where most, a lot of him is, is starting to blur away. Um, but you can get away with a, a lot of that when it is this kind of a stylized effect. All right, and, and that's just using fast blur um, in the horizontal direction. You could have just you could have done uh, both of these directions. So uh, this is vertical instead. So now he blurs and it's a vertical or both horizontal and vertical. Let's zoom back out and see what that looks like. That's a little bit uh, crazier. You can can't really see a lot of what's going on uh, in there, and that's the blurriness value. So remember, we changed the blur the opacity mask to go from zero to 100%. And at that point, we could change how what blurriness we're using and what blur dimensions we're using. All right, let's try this really simple. And we're inverting that mask. And if we ex really feather this mask out, remember to, to add a mask path, you know, this is way easier to edit. Zoom back in. You know, let we look at that one. Let's move ahead. We've got way more freedom here, again, because it's a very stylized effect. We're not having to be as accurate. You know, I'm going to select these and move them over to here. Select the whole thing, move it down. Let's go back and look at this. So there you go. I, I think you got the idea. I showed you two examples there, one with a really, really loose mask, one really tight. Again, it depends on the surrounding area. If there was a lot of people behind that person, then it wouldn't be as forgiving. Here we've got a lot of sky going on, a bit of the boat. Uh, but 
you know, this just this should be something that you have in, in the back of your head. Somebody's asking for a really dramatic effect and, and you don't want to go to the trouble to take a whole afternoon to roto this guy out. Maybe throw this effect in there and uh, see what happens. It definitely does add a little bit of dynamic uh, focus on that particular individual. All right. Uh, hopefully you found this informative. If you're new to Video Revealed, then please take a moment and subscribe. And if you're one of the people that's been supporting us, giving us great comments and feedback, oh, thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. And maybe we could ask you to just move on to Patreon and help us over there. Something as little as two bucks. How about two bucks a month? A month, that's it. Would make a big difference and uh, we would really appreciate it. All right. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.